Welcome back, Adventures with Dr. Joe. This is part three in our series of assembling the Prusa XL semi-assembled. In this segment, we're gonna do cable management, connecting the cables to the circuit board, very important, and then extrusion covers. And then the next stage, we're gonna do the heat bed. So let's get to it. First thing we wanna grab this cover, which is 354 millimeters, and then take the PE, the motor, and the XLCD and gently put those into the extrusion. I've taken some so I've taken some tape and wrapped it periodically on this on this cable which makes it a lot easier to handle. So again, gently feed that in to that opening in that extrusion. motor cable that can go on, on this side so I've got the motor cable tucked into this side the PE cable here and then the uh, LCD cable now we're going to take the cover and I start it and then push it down and then just continually then I start so I start the cable push it down and then, then feed it in and it really does look nice once it's all placed and there it is now we're going to route the PE cable and connect it in here let's zoom in PE cable connects here might even use our little included flyer get that lined up Place. There it is. Now we're going to connect XY, Z, and LED lights. The XY comes from above here. And it fits with this little clip that goes in the slot, and the metal bars go toward the front. There's that one. Z. And here's the LED. Again, clip connectors, clip goes to the right. And I'm in the way, sorry. There it goes like that. Okay, now we're going to connect the LCD cable. Get it underneath these other wires. And it has a locking knob, a locking latch here that corresponds to this triangle at the very top. So line it up. And there it goes. So it's a, it's a pretty secure, strong fit. Now we're going to slip in some zip ties. There's some loops here that these go through. Like that. Get this one started. Then do the other one. And snug those up, but not too tight. You just need to hold those cables in a good place. There, that, that's good. Once you've got the zip ties secured, use your favorite type of nipper here, a little side cutter, just to clean them up. And we'll move to the other side. Now for the right rear cable management, we'll bring this motor cable in to the channel. Again, get our 354 millimeter cover. Start it at the bottom. We just start it, it's easy. It takes a little butts in to get it started. 
There it is. Now we're going to connect the X, Y, Z, and LED cables to the board. The first one is the X, Y. is here. And again, X, Y, Z, X, Y. Then Z, this is Z, got the nice little cover on it, little label. And then finally the LED light is right here. Those are in the top, <coughs> where that goes. Now we'll do the Wi-Fi antenna. In my version, this is the Wi-Fi antenna that I received. It has this very delicate connector that connects here. So we'll zoom in and connect this. And then I'm just going to leave this free. This is a very delicate step. You need to support the circuit board Okay, I've got it snapped in. It was not easy. It required basically putting my fingernail on that, and now this is the Wi-Fi antenna, so that's connected. When you put it in, you'll feel a little pop as it, as it makes that nice connection. Next thing, we're going to look at the left rear inside part of the panel for a connection. So inside here, it's a little plastic cover. To protect it from being painted and then we're going to connect this cable to that there it goes so that's the PE cable connecting to this grounding tab the next step is to put some zip ties these cables and be sure we grab the, the twisted one and this black grounding cable as well. Keep those all bundled together. It'll make it a lot easier to put the cover on next step. Snug those up. Not too tight. Again, all the cables in this area. Ends off. Okay, now we're just going to review. Here's the XY motor plug in, Z plug in. It's the LED plug in. Obviously, the LCD cable. LED cable. The antenna. E cable, this green yellow one going to this tab. And of course we talked about the Wi-Fi antenna. Now we're going to put the covers back. Now to put the back cover on, let's just review. Be sure all of the cables, all of the cables in this area are bundled up with the zip ties. If they're not, take the zip ties off, put a new one there. All the cables on this side as well, including the threaded cable here, which is going to go off the side. And this <coughs> multi-stranded cable here will go off the side, the edge of these. And this little notch fits in the top edge of this cover. This. There it goes. Handles are flat against the, the frame here. Make sure there are no wires under here <coughs> and that it's sitting absolutely flush. Don't want to pinch any wires. It's easy to do. We just start our screws. So this is known as the XL Buddy Box cover. And we've already just loosened those screws and it should just slip right on there and then we'll tighten those back up. Now to put some extrusion covers in. <clears throat> First we'll use the 243 millimeter one for this end and start Start with one end in and the other end in. 
stitch it home like that. Now we'll do the other side. Now we'll do this side again. This is 243 millimeters starting the cap at one end. The other end. The longest one of these extrusion covers is 430 millimeters. It goes at the very front. Start it at one end. March it home. Go. And then the two orange ones, they go here. They go vertically. Gives it a really nice look. Great. Next step is to rotate the printer. Put these two extrusion covers. Turn the printer around and put the other extrusion covers here. So that finishes up our Core XY and back assembly. We did the rear cable management, connected all the cables, did the extrusion covers, and now we're done with our third in the series. Stand by for number four, which will be the heat bed. If this was helpful, click thumbs up, please. Consider subscribing. Thank you.